every day in my school, there's always some class getting gym. And in every class, there's always somebody who's forgot their trainers. But I never stops them from getting some exercise. A punishment exercise! I thought, hold on, there's a wee gap in the market here. So I bought a pair of sannies, just a daft pair of slip-ons out of the shops. A hefty investment, but the higher the risk, the higher the return. The next day, I goes walking up the gym queue like that. Anybody looking for trainers? Sannies for hire, sannies! Hi me! Me and all, Mark and Colin bolt up to us at the exact same time. I was like, eh, we've got a problem lads. I've only got one pair of trainers. Mark was like, I shouted first. Colin was like, aye, but I got to him first. I was like, look lads, I've got an idea. Take a trainer each. They were like, are you mental? I says, no, listen. They split the hall into two, didn't they? You're in two different classes, two different teachers. Mark, you go up to Mrs MacArthur with your trainer and hit her with a sob story about how the other fell out of her bag, right? Same with Mrs Ferguson calling. She normally doesn't fall for the missing trainer's part of, but having a trainer on you will lend the story a certain believability, right? They were like, worth a try. I says, cool, 20p each. 40p, man, can you believe it? A 40% return on my investment already. Anyway, so I catch us up with them at the end of the day, see how they go on. I was dreading it if the truth be known. And they were like, ah, Gary, you're a genius! I was like, ah, thank God. And that was the end of that. Not, wasn't it? Because a couple of days later, there's me in the middle of serving a customer, and I gets a horn slapped in my shoulder. Turns around, and there's Martin calling me pure scowls on their faces. They were like, ah, we want our money back. It didn't work. I was like, ah, I it did. They were like, ah, no, it didn't. They tells us they got pulled out of the classroom and our teachers are like to them, Boys, we've just had a conversation about how two of our pupils in the exact same gym hall on the exact same day managed to lose the exact same sand shoe. Can you explain why that is? I was like, oh, you are joking. They were like, no, 500 lines each. It's no joke, so give our money back. I was like, no chance. I provided you with a solution to your problem at that moment in time. The problem being imminent pony eckies. You knew the risks, you accepted the deal, no refund. Two of them started squaring up to me like that. Don't want to hear it, Gary. Money, no. I was like, it's came to this then, has it? And I chucked the money on the deck, told them not to come back, and they were like, so what? So what? See, they two, they're not getting a line of pair of tennis for the rest of their lives. No horrors in any face. Need dragging them out of the grog pit. Nothing. That's it, more their cells.